Tommy Edison and the Bear Facts, tonight at 11. Here's kind of a strange question. If you had a house guest who walked around naked or semi-naked, would that bother you at all? Short answer, no. I wouldn't care. I mean, if you want to walk around naked, who cares? As long as I don't have to touch you, you can do what you want to do. I, I'm not looking. Doesn't make any difference to me. Like, I wouldn't even know. I guess the idea of it is a little strange. I mean, I wouldn't think about walking around somebody else's home naked or half naked. Even if it was another blind person, I just, it would never strike me to do that. It would never occur to me. But I guess some people are that comfortable that, uh, you know, they feel all right doing that. But at the same time, <laughs> there's no better place to walk around naked or half naked than in a blind person's home. Just don't tell me. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, don't tell me. And don't sit on the furniture. And don't rub up against anything. <laughs> I had a coworker and we were good friends, you know, we joke and laugh a lot and things. And you know, when we worked in radio, sometimes we would have to go do events, you know, and we might have to change. And this woman would never, ever get naked in front of me, never. And I said, why, how come? I mean, you know, she said, you know what? I think you can see. I think I'm gonna get naked in front of you and all of a sudden you're gonna go, ha ha, I can see. She wouldn't even be partially naked in front of me, you know, like if she left her top and bottom on and then put on new pants and a new top or whatever. I'm not sure what she thought. Maybe she thought perhaps I could see more than I was letting on or, or what, I don't know. But I always thought that was so strange and it's clearly something I've never forgotten. And that's crazy. So here I am, my whole life, I decide, I get the idea as a child. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pretend to be blind my entire life until I meet this woman at work and then she's gonna get naked in front of me and I'm gonna go, ha ha. That's a long way to go for a joke. <laughs> That's more of a stretch than I usually do for comedy. So let's say you have some kind of surgery and you can't see for a couple of days. And all of a sudden, your roommate starts to take advantage of the situation, begins walking around the house naked or half naked. Would that bother you? I understand it seems strange, but how could it make you uncomfortable if you don't know what's happening? I'm curious, for people who actually live with blind people, do you walk around the house naked or semi-naked? Do you let them know? Do you tell them? And if so, how do they react? Do they care? Does it freak them out? This is a question I don't think I've ever heard before. Honestly. I don't think I've ever heard this one. <laughs> Maybe I don't get out of the house enough. Would I ever go to a nude beach and be nude myself? That's a great question. Um, sure, why not? I mean, we're all sort of wearing the same thing, right? So after the initial couple of minutes of, hey, I'm naked in front of everybody, but you sort of forget, I guess. Geez, I don't know if I'd ever forget that. I'd be afraid to, you know, I'd be, I'd be afraid I'd burn myself. <laughs> you know what I mean. And then what? Then I can't wear clothes for a few days. Do I understand the purpose of clothing? Yes. I mean, <laughs> we, you know, we want to cover our, our bits up, right? And we also, it's for fashion. It's to look good. But I don't really understand it. Like. I know how clothing feels on me, but I don't know how that clothing would look on you. I understand that you'd wear a shirt and jeans or pants or whatever, and I get that, but I don't know what it looks like. You know, like for women, I know what a dress and a skirt and a blouse, all that kind of stuff. I know what it is, but I don't get how it makes you look cute or pretty or how one piece of clothing can look great on one person and horrible on another. Now, that's a weird thing to me. Fashion, I don't really know from fashion too much. You know, I put on clothing and then somebody will say, hey, nice outfit. But that's about all I know. I mean, lingerie is fun to touch, but like lace, I don't really care for so much. It's, that's not really that nice to touch. Whereas the silky stuff is, you know, it's smooth, it's soft, like that. But, you know, lace is sort of rough. I, I understand it looks pretty, and I guess you can see through bits of it, but eh, not so much a uh, tactile experience. But the fun thing about lingerie is like the buttons or something like that, you know? It's sort of like unwrapping a gift. Well, because you have to be very careful, don't you? So it's gentle, it's slow, and you, you know, unwrapping a little prezzy right in front of you. A little human prezzy. Me, I call it lingering. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wonder if the whole world was blind when we wear clothing, right? Because then it wouldn't matter. We're all the same and nobody's looking anyway. Gee, I don't know. I don't think so. I think the rules would be a lot different if the whole world was blind. I really do. A lot of things would be different. 
you know, maybe clothes would be more utilitarian, right? They'd just be to cover up your bits, stuff like that. But that might be all it is, who knows? <laughs> but at the same time, if we were blind, would we have like gone to discover new worlds and there'd be no Columbus? <laughs> We'd still think the earth was flat, right? We wouldn't see the sunshine or anything. So, you know, the sunshine coming up over the horizon and going back down the other way at night. We never notice that. So this is strange. So I'm just curious. I mean, you know, I know who asked this question, right? But I'm just curious why. I mean, <laughs> do you want to stay over at my house and walk around naked for a couple of days? Is that what you're into? I'm one of those people who likes to be naked in front of blind people. That's my fetish. Wow. Okay. Wouldn't it be funny if Khloe Kardashian sent that question in? <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for watching the videos and for all the great questions as well. And if you have another one, please leave it in the comments below. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. So come on, follow along. Oh, no, this way. <laughs>